This drawing contains a number of points that we imported into the drawing previously. We can see them here in the drawing editor. We can also see these points through the prospector by selecting points. And at the bottom of the prospector, we'll see a preview window that shows us a table of all of these points, including their point number, northings, eastings, elevations, descriptions, styles, and so on. We can also get to that table by expanding point groups and finding we have one point group in this drawing called All Points. The All Points point group is automatically created anytime you have points in your drawing. You can right click on All Points and select Edit Points, and this shows the point editor where we see the same information in a larger, easier to manipulate table. I'll close out of that for a moment and zoom in on some of these points. And here we have a benchmark point that is displayed showing the point number, elevation, and description. Probably what you would expect to see. If I zoom back out and zoom in on some of these other points, you'll see that they only are displaying the point marker. And that's because of the styles and how the points were imported. To take a look at that, if I zoom back out and select this benchmark point, I can go to the context sensitive ribbon on the modify panel and pick edit points. Here we see just this one point in the editor. If I scroll over to the right, you'll see that I have a column for the point style and the point label style. And these two styles were assigned by the description keys when we imported the points. If I close out of this, escape and select a different point, and go to the same point editor, when we look at that style and point label style column, you'll see that they're blank. And this means that the individual point object does not have styles assigned to them. Instead, the point group is controlling those styles. So rather than just being blank or none, you could almost think of this as by group, similar to the way we work with layers and having colors by layer or line type by layer. I'll close out of this. And we can go back to the prospector, find our point group called All Points, right click on it and go to Properties. And here we see we have a point style called Basic, which is this red X applied to the points, but the point label style is set to none. If we change that point label style from none to point elevation and description, click OK. Now we can see the point numbers, elevations, and descriptions labeling all of these points. However, the labels are too large and they're all laying over the top of each other and obscuring each other. So if we go to the annotation scale at the bottom of the drawing, it's currently set to 1 inch equals 60 feet. Change it to 1 inch equals 20 feet. And the labels will resize according to the settings in their label style. Now you can see the points labeled properly and sized accordingly. So there are two different ways to assign styles to your points either to the individual object, which can also be done through description keys, or you can assign point styles and point label styles through the point group. It's important to remember that if you do it in both places, the individual object styles will override the styles assigned by the group.